New at 10, car thefts continue to be on the rise in St. Charles County. Thieves most recently hitting nearby South O'Fallon over the weekend. Fox 2's Stephanie Rothman is live at the O'Fallon Police Department tonight with the very latest. Stephanie? Well, police say it may be common sense, but simple tips will help you stay safe. So we wanted to show you in our own car right here. The first thing you do when you get home, make sure to turn off your car. Once you do that, you want to lock the doors because when you lock the doors and you take your keys, that way thieves will stay away. These are the best ways, they say, to make sure that you stay one step ahead of the thieves and avoid being the next target. Over the past weekend, one car and multiple items, including a gun, were stolen from homes in the Winghaven area. And it's about every other day somebody will send something in and say, you know, that they've had a car stolen. The thieves still on the loose. We may not have caught the ones that stole the cars last week here in O'Fallon yet, but we will. This following a string of car break-ins on Wednesday night in the same region. One car was stolen and another eight cars were reported broken into with a pistol stolen from one of them. This is an organized crime. Um, no doubt that these individuals that are out here um, preying on unlocked cars and people leaving their stuff in cars that they know what they are doing. Police believe some using stolen cars to fuel additional car thefts. A doorbell camera catching what police believe to be a group of thieves checking car doors the same night of the crimes. Pulling up in a gray Nissan matching the description of another car stolen just days before. Things getting back to normal in nearby Darden Prairie, where Jamie Demeter waits to hear from detectives about her stolen car. We just kind of keep having our fingers crossed. Watching thieves use the same tactic the same night, the incident hits close to home. We had to change everything from the keys on our house to the keys in my classroom to all of our checking, savings, credit accounts. She now double checks to close her garage, a reminder for all to be extra vigilant. And the police department, they are working with a lot of different agencies throughout the St. Louis greater region. And they do remind people that they are out there and they are patrolling with their auto theft task force. Reporting in O'Fallon, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.